Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! corner this man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 36 wins 18 losses he stands five feet seven inches tall weighing in at 145 pounds clay the carpenter Weena! and now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner this man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight he stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side, and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Straight right is there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That right hand landed. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Nice counter shot there. Big body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Go 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big leg kick lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Big kick land. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Nice head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. That was a nice right. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Straight punch landed with so much power. Checks the leg kick. Guida's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice straight there by Guida. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That's a big strike right there. Head kick lands. Uppercut there blocked by Lee. Counter punch landed there by Green. Oh, big elbow. Back and forth we go. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, big Superman punch there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. His overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. 
Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very soon. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You gotta put this hip into that kick. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. One-two there by Guido. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh. Guida gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And he landed the right hand there. Liver kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Now connects with the right. He blocks the punch. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Nice one, two there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Lee gets caught with that one. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy, only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Guida's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one who caused all the action. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Straight right, he misses. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Guida's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Lee gets caught with that punch. This is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. He's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in the track. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. 
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. What a fun. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice slip and counter there by Lee. Big leg kick land. He gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Just out of range with the big right hand. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Watch knees to the body. Left hand, left hand. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Hey, stay sharp in there. Hands up. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Wait, his uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Big body kick. Just over three minutes to go. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Okay, okay, let's focus. Let's focus now. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you... Look like it did start a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Huge right hand! Back to the feet! Oh, he might be out! That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Hands up. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a... He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. starting to form on the right side of his body. Just misses there with the left. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Gets 
caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, huge block. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick really got him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. So next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Beautiful strike. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That shot blocked by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man. Serves him up. Go get him. So he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. They continue to exchange. Connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, oh straight right. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Big punch lands through the middle. He's out! He's done, he's done! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 58 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. 
not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.